Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Christine Chen, Executive Director for Asian and Pacific Islander American Vote. Our uh, mission as a national organization is to increase voter participation and civic participation among the API community at all levels of government. And our structure is to really identify local and national nonprofits who are looking to do this type of work and for us to actually help you build your capacity and understanding on how to do this work most effectively. So we were actually first created as a project back in 1996 when I was first a staffer at OCA, at that time called Organization of Chinese Americans. Um, at that particular point in time, we, we started in the mid-90s starting to see a number of diverse API communities start to uh, have a presence in DC and focus on public policy. But what we recognize is that even though there were more groups getting engaged on the public policy front, we weren't doing enough grassroots organizing in terms of increasing voter participation. And that was really important because um, the groups doing advocacy work, they're only as effective if they have a base of voters behind them. So that particular time, um, Daphne Kwok, Vita Benavides, and Gloria Quigley were the, um, the uh, key members who helped us create this project idea. And with the help of Ford Foundation and Open Society Institute in 2007, we officially spun off of OCA and created ourselves as our own uh, 501c3 organization. Since then, um, every, um, every year we continue to build our base of nonprofits that are doing this work. We focus on these uh, different areas. Our strategy is to focus on, on training and strategic communications. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that. Our research and polling. Um, also, our field work, which is focusing on low propensity voters, those who are, don't, or who are actually new voters, or they only vote once every four years or once every two years, and then also focusing on young voters in itself. And then the last component is also making sure that leading up to election day and on election day, we protect our voting rights, as we have seen how important that is, especially when you saw what was happening in Georgia, um, this uh, midterm election. So our value and the way into this work uh, within the CLUSA network is that we're looking to, with each and every one of you in your particular states, to first come in and conduct, invite you to be part of our trainings. Um, so that way you have a clear understanding of how to do this work. It actually is very specific because states are very, their laws are very different. And what are the different strategies depending on if you're working more in the Chinese community or the Hmong community or the Filipino community? Um, it really varies um, very much. So we've, this um, previous year during the midterm elections, we did 15 regional trainings and we're looking actually at expanding that for 2019 leading into 2020. Also, I wanted to flag that the trainings in um, 2019 are going to be modified because we actually are not only dealing with the general election, we are dealing with presidential primaries and caucuses and the 2020 census, which is all happening at the same time. So that means we actually need more individuals and organizations involved and actually trained properly. So by January 1, we're all about the implementation phase in itself. For our specific grant with the Civic Leadership USA investment, we actually utilized it all with uh, supporting the 2018 Asian American Voter Survey. We conducted this in partnership with funding uh, from ARP, also with um, the Asian American Advancing Justice, AJC, um, as well as the Asian Pacific American Labor Alliance. Uh, we conducted the survey with AAPI data. Um, with that, from the information that we received, uh, we were able to go ahead and utilize what were the themes that would resonate with voters. We implemented that in our digital Facebook and Google um, uh, campaigns. We implemented it into our uh, mailers. We actually sent out with our local partners over 343,925 mailers targeting um, low propensity voter households. And then we also subgranted about 190,000 to these local organizations um, for this multi layer impact. Uh, voter contact program. And with the survey itself, we were also able to go ahead, as you can see, some of the mailers here that were translated into 11 different um, languages um, to really implement that and really focus on issues that would resonate with the voters and to incorporate into the scripts and, and the um, outreach that we actually did in it. 
itself. I could talk a little bit, a lot more later about what we need to look at and for 2019 and 2020. There was a specific calendar that we've already developed that I think it's really important to share with all of you so you understand what is moving already. And in reality, these are dates that we really have no control over. And so that way we need to work backwards. So I look forward to working with everyone. Thank you.